weird, frustrating. Okay, so I apparently had this game setting, uh, the audio turned back up. These were originally set down to these, these levels, and uh, I, I, I turned them down to that. But I guess it just didn't save my settings at any point. And yeah, when I'm in the middle of it, it's kind of hard to. It, it's it's kind of hard to realize that it is super loud because I'm just going. Okay, Human so I'm just gonna let him do that. Humans' attention are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. Thus ends the bounty. There. So. That horse leg should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up money. Got to be the best at something. Beating a dead horse. The oh, there we go. 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty theft. Okay. I think I'm done with that quest. I'm going to operate under the assumption that I am. And let's get out of here. Right, this should be better. Remember, you force closed it on the menu. Should have still saved the audio settings, but I don't know. This game has weird bugs. I guess. Hey. It's weird. This is like one of the only games where you actually get like a uh, wanted reputation or whatever and you kind of just ignore it. You're just like, eh, who cares? As with many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change. But it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. Shadow teeth. Does it smell unusual? Alright, so we pretty much done with this area. We're at 64%. I'm missing three caches. I've got all the locations. Okay, who is this? Okay, so we got a alligator. We got another alligator. Anybody got some I guess let's start going for those. Come on, shark. Yum, catfish. I feel a bit bad. Am I just seeing things? It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Catfish are real cute. They don't feel too bad for the people here. Dodged into his mouth. Good. Yeah, this game does not handle multi-target fighting particularly well. Because I'll be, like, locked onto the Barracuda, then it loses the Barracuda, then I get bit by the, by the alligator. Well, this is how I die. That's dumb. There are 70-year-olds who survive gator attacks with nothing but a golf club. Come on. Like, I think if you could... If you could actually permanently lock onto something, it wouldn't be so bad, but... It's sites like these that okay. really challenge a person's faith in endless progress and development. The shark is now an adult, and she should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds. Oh. So, breech lunge, air lunge, and lung capacity. Oh. You're getting progressively less cute. That sucks. But it makes sense. All right. Bioelectric fins. Lightning for a fraction of a second when you evade. Ooh. Oh. This is kind of tacked on. I wish that actually merged better. All right. So we don't have any other perks. But we do have shadow teeth.
Oh. So there's the shadow set. But shadow teeth is just so much better. Like, I like the electric teeth, but, uh, 40 health per bite sounds real good. We're vampire shark now. Alright, so, I guess let's go for this alligator instead, seeing as it's close. Catfish are cavity nesters, so mind your crevices. Excuse me, yes. Wow, that dodge is going to be kind of nuts. Oh, there you are. I'm just going to abuse this guy. Well, wow, that was easy. That was a lot easier. There we go. Well, we are now sufficiently OP. Let's go beat up some other. Uh, let's see, some other alligators. Because yeah, now I can just run around uh, nomming on almost anything. If you can attack with that dodge. Kinda. It's not, it's no Jet Lancer dodge. But you absolutely can. Oh, interesting. That's also a dodge of a sort. Yeah, so now I have real solid iframes. on my electric shark dodges. <laughs> it's a big worm. It's a wormigator and it's dead. Might as well grab all those as I go by. All right. Oh, did I forget to upgrade my, my fin? I bet I did. I'm not actually sure how much that matters though. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. It gets me some more evade speed, but I'm not convinced that's necessary. Do we upgrade that? Mm. No, wait. I need to upgrade these teeth further. Oh, that, in fact. Yeah, so we'll have to see what the shadow fin does. I'll just grab that for the time being. All right, so what do we even have left? Apex predators, I guess. Hey, and we're an adult, so we can get into a lot of these grates that we couldn't get into earlier. Let's see, if I explored any of the other regions yet. No, I'm actually being fairly thorough for reasons. Let's see, is it Lame Twilight Vampire Shark? Or Badass Dungeons and Dragons Vampire Shark? I was, I feel like a nose. Oh, Tour Airboat. Oh, there we go. Problem solved. Bite the guy. Thank you. Alright, well, that was easy. Goodbye to her airboat. You did not last. There we go. 
And we absolutely have... Come back here. There we go. We absolutely have a box back here. We just have to get to it. Well, into the dungeon I go. Ooh, license plate. Anything else in here? Now this place is actually super linear. That's good. I do okay in mazes. My sense of direction is great. But even then, I got some issues if things start getting too. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. If thing if things get too clustered, I have problems. Okay. So what else we got here? Required elder. Oh come on. Stop alligator. You just don't even stand a chance at this point. Have fun there. Anything else here? No. Well, I'm assuming I turn Elder at level 20. See, is this worth playing? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it really depends on value propositions and some other things. From my perspective, I'm enjoying this thoroughly. It's... Oh. The Needle Tooth Nightmare, the Barracuda. It's very much just kind of mindless violence, and I'm going to call it like Ubisoft style open world aspect stuff. Let's see. But it is very satisfying in its own way. Mainly because there's not another game like this. Did I get it? No. Barracuda. While most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's oh. true. Bone teeth. Good for bone combat. Fair enough. How in the hail? Yeah, okay. We're coming back to that one later. Well, I'd say we're pretty much done with this zone. Oh, like father, like son. Come see the latest on Pete and the larger LeBlanc fa family. All right. We can do that. Yeah, we're just going to need a really big... The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Let's see. So what's... How does bone teeth work? Thrash damage, boat bite damage bonus. I think I like the shadow teeth. That healing is really nice. Yeah, let's, let's get on with this story. I bet this is going to be boss fight? Stop, oh humans. This is fast, apparently. We might want to upgrade this. Though I really want Shadow Dodge. That's the answer. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle. My son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. He got two, can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. 
He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. I am really fast, actually. Dang. Sup? Bye. <laughs> oh, that's mean. Let's see. Where is this? Probably over here. Oh, you know what? I bet you you have to age up at some point. I bet you can't leave this bay until you until you're an adult. That's probably exactly the case. At some point you gotta fight the shark mega. I think we're just descended from it. Could be wrong. What the? That was weird looking. Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners. With spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. Hello! Nice boat you've got here. Be a shame if it got set on fire. Lacking natural intestinal support out of water, the shark's internal organs struggle to function. <laughs> Goodbye, boat. No one wanted you there. All right, let's let's go find our uh, Mako. That another shark? Maybe we do have to fight the Megalodon. Well, I am sufficiently over leveled. Which makes this a lot easier. All you have to do is just beat up on a bunch of humans for a while. And there we go. Yum yum shark friend. Well, what else do we got around here? Snacks. It's black ash. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. So If your boat contains fish blood, fish slime, or other fish offal, it's best to keep it inside the vessel to avoid attracting sharks. Ooh, King Mackerel. Alright, so we gotta find the entrance to this place. I'm just I'm just goobin', but we should probably we should probably be a little bit more focused. Maybe. There we go. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Ah. Uh, that's... Rightio. It's mass rating, health rating, defense rating, damage rating. We're still pretty damn weak. Alright, so what do we got around here? Uh, let's see. Kill a Mako. 
Consume 10 humans. Kill 10 mackerel. Well, let's go with the easiest one first. So, there's something really cathartic about that. So, I am here to feast. about saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding tourism revenue. Well, I got my ear back. Shark fin traders come every year to Baton Tordu, because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 mark? We Hello. There we go. Well, this is certainly a lot easier. Oh, did I not get all the humans? There we go. Whee. This is so goofy. Bye. Oh. Nope. That didn't get them all. That's a that's fine. Hello. I am up on your boat fighting your people, and what do you do? You just sit there and scream. That's right. I gotta get something that makes my my jumps out of the air. What the? Well, that animation didn't work right. These swift boats are like level 30. I might be uh out of my depth here. Par. What is your plan, human? What is your plan? I wonder what happens if I actually just kill everybody. Like, if there's just no one... If if I've gone down the entire infamy rankings and killed all the random bosses, what happens? I'm actually really curious about that. I don't know how far you can go without eating any humans. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You can probably see much of the map. that back. Let's get an albino catfish. I'm taking some damage here. It's gonna take a bit for me to get my, uh, notoriety up, though. Dang. Alright, what else we got? Well, I got the Mako. I'm gonna probably keep going for the humans. I swear are they... Okay, left. Further left. So, sharks around here somewhere. There's something really satisfying about that. Right, where are we? It's here? Could be looking 
Yeah, here that. it is. Blockbuster, you say? Sup? I have right of way, as I am shark. Nice part is, every time I eat a human being, it means more time on the road. Okay, we got more. Oh gosh, those people are way too far away. Hello! You thought you'd be safe on your nice green lawn! This is false! You're not safe anywhere! Okay, did we get all of that? We did. Uh, we should probably figure out where some of these are. There we go. Else that? So where's this... Where's this cash? Yeah, a breeze would be nice. Shark shouldn't be that hard to find. Anything fancy in here? Hey, there is. Landmark in the rough. Oh, wow. the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. Yeah, go figure. The battle is over, but the war shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. All right, what else do we got around here? Because I'm, I'm having no trouble getting up on land and uh, doing on land things at this point. Yeah, underwater gulf hole. I am going to assume that is going to have to. That's going to have to wait. I can't do that. I can try. Hello. Hello, humans. Hello. Might I bite you? No? Ah, uh, that sounds like a huge problem. Now here's the question. Will the shark hunters be able to figure any of this out? No? You thought I would be in the ocean! The you fools! The sea likely began with the first coastal dwelling humans, who were undoubtedly surprised when a shark came on shore to eat them. There we go. Back when I was a boy, I thought I'd be a golfer. Damn, if I didn't like sinking sharks, a lot more better than sinking butts. Well. I think that works. Yep, that worked pretty dang well. All right, let's get out of here. Speed shark. Speed shark don't care. I am clearing these at an extremely fast pace. I love it. It certainly gets a lot easier the older you get. I don't think they really balance the game after a point, and I think that's good. Struggle a little, little bit in the beginning, and then like just go full. Uh, just go full power fantasy mode. I just wish there was like no limit to the amount of upgrades that you could stack on so you just become like super nuts. Anyway, sup? The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Three. An intensive shark hunt is now underway. Intensive shark hunts, you say? There, you are not incorrect. Oh, they can actually shoot me from there. Well, that's unfortunate. Mostly for this human. Suck it in one shot back in 93. And if Cliff Gillis tell you I didn't, he'll lie. Well, that's easy. And off we go. Bam. Okay. Uh, ooh. Got one of these. Yeah, this is not a very long game, which I kind of appreciate. 
Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Well, let's check this out. Yeah, I really appreciate how small this game is, comparatively. I know some people might say, like, oh, I wish it was longer. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. But I think as far as, like, open world games go, this feels good as compared to, like, a lot of open world games where I'm just like, oh, gosh, when is it over? This one's, uh, this one, I'm like, I might actually play this a little bit longer than I'm supposed to just to, like, screw around 